Hello and welcome to another video tutorial in this Paramix Discovery 22 series. I hope you've been enjoying the video tutorials so far. This is number seven in the series and this one's about a new feature called Select Link Analysis. So begin to look at how this feature works. We need to collect some outputs. And I've got a model here with one demand set for the AM period. I'm gonna collect four runs over the AM, so from 6 AM for four and a half hours. And I'm gonna collect the database output. Now, when I look in my output section, I can see that the only thing I've got ticked on here is the vehicle routes. And we can now collect vehicle routes as a database file. So that's new in Paramix Discovery 22. Previously, we could only collect as a CSV file. So that's what we're wanting to collect for this feature, select link analysis. And the vehicle routes file is a really important file. It carries an awful lot of data, every uh, route that every vehicle does in the simulation. So it's a large file and it's actually going to create a separate database for us. Now, because it's a large file, it means that sometimes you might want to filter this file. And you can do that by uh, applying this filter. So I've just uh, generated a filter file. Uh, I'm calling it links filter and I'm going to open that. And what that will show me is all of the turns and all of the links in the model. And so if I wanted to collect a smaller file, I would simply need to strip this filter down to only have the links that I wanted to collect in the model. So I'm just going to delete some as an example. I'm not really thinking through exactly which ones here. Uh, it's just more for a demonstration. Um, so I'll just delete that. So by leaving this set of links here, what that's saying is that every vehicle that goes through one of these links will be collected and all the vehicles that don't will be ignored. So we're only going to get the routes that go through uh, the links specified in the file. You can then simply browse to that and load it and that will then filter the data. Now I can see that my runs have completed and uh, this has been collecting all the data so we haven't been using the filtering for this. So now let's go to the analyze tab and see the results. If I go to the analyze menu I can open up a new dialog called select link analysis and you can see that there. Now that has automatically loaded in the database that we've just collected and uh, the four runs of that database, which you can see there, and you've got an option to toggle runs on and off in that drop down menu. Now the next step is to add uh, a new select link analysis. So we can add one and we can call this whatever we want. So let's name it dual carriageway uh, northbound. So we're going to be having a look at a link on the northbound and seeing uh, which routes are using that link. So then once I've created that, I simply go to my network, I click on the link that I want, it appears in uh, my list below, and I can add as many links into, uh, into this list as I want. We'll just stick with one for now. And then I simply hit the Analyze button in the bottom left, and that's now processing the data. And that's going to be looking for um, all of the routes in my network that use this link and I can see the outputs there. So I've got a list of several different routes using this link. It's given me all of the information about those. So every link that those routes are using, the origin zone and destination zone. Uh, we know the start times and end times for the whole period. And then it's telling me importantly, how many trips uh, are using that route, the average duration and the average cost of all of those trips. So lots of really useful information that's being processed very, very quickly to really understand more deeply uh, the model I'm working with. I can then delve deeper into each of these routes and uh, look in a bit more detail. So by clicking on them, I can see here, for example, that uh, the route that I've clicked on is colored in red, and that's the main route going northbound, as I would expect the whole length of the dual carriageway. That's carrying most of the trips. Um, I can change the colors of that. So if we set that to yellow, you can see the color change. So it's displaying all of the routes in blue and the specific one I've selected in, uh, in yellow. 
So let's change all of them to red and uh, you can see that change happening on the network. And then I could select other routes um, and it's showing me the selected ones in yellow so I can see exactly uh, the different routes that are using that link, how many trips there are, uh, and it's a great way to really understand the routing in the network in a little bit more detail. Now as well as all of that, I can look at the filters in uh, this model. So I can filter this data by uh, the zone origin, the zone destination, the vehicle type, the familiarity, and I can also filter it by uh, the time period within the simulation. So let's say I just want to look at the peak hour, maybe from eight to nine. Uh, I would simply uh, type in those values, hit analyze again, and it's gonna process that data uh, and give me the results for uh, one hour instead of for the whole period. So hopefully you get a sense of how powerful this new select link analysis tool is. And although we're processing a lot of data, it's actually really quick and simple to use. Now there's lots more to show you with select link analysis, but rather than make this video too long, we're going to do a part two next week. So join us again next week and we'll look in a little bit more detail at select link analysis. Thank you for watching and bye for now.